API Pump Type Definitions Understanding API Standards Power Zone API Pump Type Definitions Understanding API Standards Power Zone API American Petroleum Institute is a set of standards used to define systems, tests and equipment design, mainly in the oil and gas industry. There are other standards, such as ESO, ASMA, NEMA or ANSI. Although these standards may be referred to alongside API, they are not otherwise related, and although some of these standards overlap, each one is generally focused on a different sector. Standards include design range of equipment and components. Power Zone is involved daily with the API standards relating to pumps and pump components, as well as API guidelines for pumped API design criteria for pump basiplet design. Even though there is no overall rule or law that API standards must be adhered to, many pumps and equipment are built to no standard at all. The API standard is often referred to in pumping systems when the highest quality is needed. Below is simple explanations of some of the many different API standards for pumps. API 610 is the API standard relating specifically to centrifugal pumps and centrifugal pumping systems. It provides design criteria for the design of the actual centrifugal pump, as well as how the centrifugal pump is to be tested, and what type of base it is to be mounted on. Within the API 610 centrifugal pump standard, there are various configuration codes for different types of centrifugal pumps. These are called out by a set of two letters followed by a single number. The letters are used to define the main different pump types, where O stands for overhung, BB stands for between bearings, and versus stands for vertically suspended. The number is used to differentiate more detailed configuration options within each section. Below are simple definitions for each API pump type. Each of the following pumps types are a subcategory of the API 610 centrifugal pump standard API 01 pump example API 01 centrifugal pump The API 01 is a horizontal, foot-mounted, single-stage, overhung pump with end suction. The pump is mounted to a basiplet and driven via a flexible coupler. API 02 centrifugal pump The API 02 is a horizontal, centerline-mounted, single-stage, overhung pump with end suction and a single-bearing housing. The single bearing housing helps absorb the forces imposed on the pump shaft and maintain the position of the rotor during pump operation. API 02 pump example API 03 pump example API 03 centrifugal pump The API 03 is a vertical inline, single stage, overhung pump with separate bearing brackets. The bearing housing is integral with the pump to help absorb the loads imposed on the pump, and the motor is generally mounted on a support that is also integral with the pump. The pump and motor are coupled with a flexible shaft coupling. API 04 centrifugal pump The API 04 pump is a vertical inline, single stage, overhung pump with a rigid coupling on the pump and motor shafts. The C face of the motor is mounted directly to the pump housing. API 04 pump example API 05 pump example API 05 centrifugal pump The API 05 pump is a vertical inline, single stage, overhung pump that is close coupled with the motor. In the close coupled design, the pump impeller is mounted directly to the motor shaft. The motor shaft is designed to be extra long, and the C face of the motor is mounted directly to the pump housing API 06 centrifugal pump. The API 06 is a horizontal or vertical, single stage, overhung, high speed pump that has an integral gearbox mounted to the pump housing. The gearbox is driven by the motor with a flexible coupling, and the pump impeller is mounted directly to the high speed shaft of the gearbox. API 06 pump example API BB1 to the power of pump example API BB1 centrifugal pump The BB1 is an axially split, one or two stage pump with bearings on both ends of the rotating assembly. The pump is mounted to a basiplet and driven by a motor via a flexible coupling. API BB2 centrifugal pump The BB2 is a radially split, one or two stage pump with bearings on both ends of the rotating assembly. The pump is mounted to a basiplet and driven by a motor via a flexible coupling. API BB2 pump example API BB3 pump example API BB3 centrifugal pump The BB3 is an axially split, multistage pump with bearings on both ends of the rotating assembly. The pump is mounted to a basiplet and driven by a motor via a flexible coupling API BB4 centrifugal pump The BB4 is a radially split, multistage pump with bearings on both ends of the rotating assembly. The BB4 pump is sometimes called a tie rod pump, segmental ring pump, or ring section pump, because its main housing is made up of separate, sectional pieces that are all held together by large, threaded rods. 
API BB4 pump example API BB5 pump example API BB5 centrifugal pump The BB5 is a radially split, multistage pump with bearings on both ends of the rotating assembly. The pump is mounted to a basiplet and driven by a motor via a flexible coupling. This pump is commonly referred to as a barrel pumps to the power of, because the outside housing looks like a barrel. Because of its round design, the BB5 pump can be made to handle very high pressures. API versus 1 centrifugal pump The versus 1 is a vertically suspended, wet pit, diffuser pump with a single casing. The discharge of the pump is routed through the upright column that suspends the bowl assemblies. API versus 1 pump example API versus 2 pump example API versus 2 centrifugal pump The versus 2 is a vertically suspended, wet pit, volute pump with a single casing. The discharge of the pump is routed through the upright column that suspends the bowl assemblies. API versus 3 centrifugal pump The versus 3 is a vertically suspended, wet pit, axial flow pump with a single casing. The discharge of the pump is routed through the upright column that suspends the bowl assemblies. API versus 3 pump example API versus 4 pump example API versus 4 centrifugal pump The versus 4 is a vertically suspended, volute pump with a single casing. This pump has the discharge column separate from the shaft column. The line shaft is supported by one or more bearings throughout the center column. API versus 5 centrifugal pump The versus 5 is a vertically suspended, volute pump with a single casing. This pump has the discharge column separate from the shaft column. The line shaft cantilevered and is supported only by bearings in the top housing, and has not support bearing within the column. API versus 5 pump example API versus 6 pump example API versus 6 centrifugal pump The versus 6 is a vertically suspended, wet pit. Diffuser pump with a double casing. The discharge of the pump is routed through the upright column that suspends the bowl assemblies. Because of the second casing around the outside of the pump, the versus 6 is often referred to as a canpu to the power of. API versus 7 centrifugal pump. The versus 7 is a vertically suspended, wet pit, volute pump with a double casing. The discharge of the pump is routed through the upright column that suspends the bowl assemblies. Because of the second casing around the outside of the pump, the versus 6 is often referred to as a can pump to the power of. API versus 7 pump example API 674 is the API standard relating to reciprocating positive displacement pumps and includes design criteria for both direct acting reciprocating pumps and power frame type pumps. Pumps driven by a motor via a crankshaft. The standard defines topics such as maximum and minimum speeds, pulsation and vibration control requirements, and testing requirements. API 676 is the API standard for rotary, positive displacement pumps. The standard provides design criteria for all types of rotary PD pumps. Under the API 676 standard, there are various codes that define the type of rotary positive displacement pump. The codes are as follows. VR, rotary vane pump with the vane in the rotor versus, rotary vane pump with the vane in the stator LS, rotary lobe pump with a single lobe on each rotor LM. Rotary lobe pump with multiple lobes on each rotor get. Rotary external gear pump. Timed. Ju. Rotary external gear pump on timed GI. Rotary internal gear pump. With crescent. SS. Single screw pump SMT. Multiple screw pump with additional timing gears SMU. Multiple screw pump without timing gears. Screws drive each other. The mechanical seal is the most likely part of the pump to fail approximately 70% of the pumps removed from service for maintenance are victims of mechanical seal failure mechanical seal parts are highly engineered with very close tolerances and any upset in the pump or associated system can cause seal failure including choked suction screen rapidly closed valves air or vapor entrainment misalignment between pump and motor pipe strain service point far from best efficiency point hot fluids abrasives coking or salting fluids chemical composition variations failing bearings and many more to the power of mechanical seals are based on positioning two very flat and smooth discs called seal faces one rotating on the shaft and one stationary in the pump Against each other the discs are flat and smooth enough to almost prevent the pumped fluid from leaking out between them however. The faces do rely on a very thin film of fluid between the faces to lubricate that rubbing fit without this film of fluid. The seals will overheat and fail lack of lubrication is the primary cause of seal failure if the fluid is very hot. It can flash